Because I think this is concerning just a little bit. Scientists say we're closer to immortality than ever, claiming that soon we can turn photos, videos, and audio recordings of loved ones into realistic avatars. The tech guru who tweeted this, garnering more than 10 million views, saying there's a 100% chance the deceased will be able to live with us as long as we're living. Maybe that'll happen by the end of this year. Joining me right now, Shelly Palmer, professor of advanced media at Newhouse School of Public Communications. Okay, the project... One of the projects, is there's a number of different innovative companies working on this, is called Live Forever. And it really is taking our consciousness or our loved one's consciousness and making it into what? An AI invented replica? No, this is pseudoscience at its very best. And actually it's fairly misunderstood. Right now you can use the generative AI tools that we are all excited about, like Chat, GBT, GBT4, Llama, La uh, Lambda, all the various large language models. And you can train them to specifically respond in a style. So in the style of Shelley Palmer, in the style of grandma, in the style of grandpa, if you have enough recordings or enough writings uh, from an individual, you can train the model to mimic their style of speech and even what you would consider their patterns of thought. If you have a recording of them, like if there's a bunch of YouTube videos or if you just take any, you take your phone and record your grandma you know, for a couple hours, you don't really need a couple hours, it can be a couple minutes, you can clone her voice and it will be an incredibly good clone. The, the more recording you have, the more training that can be done, the better the model's gonna be. So what you have is something that is kind of a little spooky reflection of grandma, but it's not grandma. It's not her consciousness being moved from place to place. Yeah. We don't know what consciousness is. There is no definition of it, which is why there's metaphysics and physics, which is why there's spirituality and science. These are two different things and they don't really intersect. Uh, when someone can define what consciousness is, then we're gonna have a much better understanding. Uh, we haven't figured out a, an agreed upon definition of intelligence. One of the things that the large language models don't do well is they don't plan. Well, if planning is part of being intelligent, then you'll say they're not intelligent, mm -hmm. but they can reason. Is is reason something that you think would be intelligent? They can solve very specific kinds of problems. Is problem solving uh, intelligence? Well, the answer to that is sure. So since there's no agreed upon definition of intelligence, and there's certainly no agreed upon definition of consciousness, the idea that you would transfer your consciousness somewhere else, that's a little bit, that's, that's, this is it's a crazy. big statement, no, nothing to back it up. Like you said, creepy. We, we're out of time, but I had one more question, if you could answer it short and sweet. Do you think that a lot of this technology is based on the inventor's own desires for resolving their grief and the trauma that they experience from losing a loved one? I think you've answered your own question, short and sweet. Yes, I, I think that it has a lot to do with who we are and how we see ourselves. Mm -hmm. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Mm -hmm. If this is technology you like, go for it. If not, you know, if it's creepy, then walk away from it. That's just the, these tools are amazing. And to, to do this kind of nonsense in the middle of a really an explosive new technology that's gonna change the way we live, new productivity, new abilities to, to do great things, 10 times more powerful as a knowledge worker than I was at work a year ago. Come on, that's the cool stuff. So let's yeah. concentrate there and keep working guys. If that's what's making you happy, <laughs> go for it. Shelly Palmer, thank you so much. All right. <laughs> thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.